Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Good Morning Automotive. And I just want to say we are in the uh, conference room for our morning training. And uh, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful training. But I wanted to touch base with you real quick and talk about negativity. Stop with the negativity. Stop being so negative. Negativity is not welcome in your life when it has to come with being successful. And we find ourselves every single day with a lot of negativity. We got negativity in, in society. They're always talking about things that should be coming in. And uh, come on in. We got Skylar. Skylar's here. He's on the new episode of Good Morning Automotive. Skyler. Skyler's one of our guys that wants to get better in life, wants to get better in, in his automotive success. So he drives 45 minutes, just like I do, to work to make ourselves better in the automotive industry. But the thing is, he's not bringing negativity in his life. He's got a baby on the way. He's got things that he's trying to improve before the baby gets here. And that's first, his mindset. Second, his financials. And third, he's just wanting to be successful. He's tired of being average. He's tired of living his life paycheck to paycheck. And that's what we have to do as a whole. So negativity is not going to be in our lives. Negativity is just a poison. It's a toxin that will bring us down. You're going to have people bringing negativity into your life because they don't want to see you successful. They don't want to see how well you're doing because, A, they may be lazy. They may be uh, envious of you. And they may just look at it like, man, he's just a kiss ass. And in all reality, he's not kissing anybody's tail in. He's just determined to have a better life than what he didn't have when he was a kid. Or what he didn't have when he was growing up. But everybody in this life has always tried to bring negativity in in any forms and any asset, right? Do you agree with that, Skyler? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So just, you know, we got the Super Bowl coming on. We got people talking mad crap about the, the Rams and the Bengals. And you know, why they're where they're at. And it's just negative thoughts. But you know what? I'm looking at it. I like the Rams. I like what they're representing. I like what they're doing. And, you know, after the game between the Rams and the 49ers, Odell Beckham Jr. went up to, what was it, Samuels, right? He went up to Samuels, Debo, Debo, and he gave him a hug. And, he, you know, he, he said some encouraging words to him. That gave me a little bit of respect for Odell Beckham Jr. because he wasn't gloating. He wasn't, you know, I'm the best in the world. He had sympathy for Debo because he's seen how hard he was working. They were competing against each other. In this industry, we compete against each other. So if we're successful and we we have a win, we need – to go to the person that's not having the win and give them encouraging words. Tell them how much they're appreciated. Tell them how good they are. Tell them, you know what, today's not your day, but man, the next day may be your day. But the problem is we gloat, we talk negative, we say, man, that guy was just trash. That guy wasn't as good as me. Everybody is as good as what they want to become. And Debo showed it on the field. He gave everything on that field. Now, I'm not a 49er fan. I haven't been one since uh, Joe Montana left. But it's just that boy worked his tail off. And the thing I like about thinking positive all the time, you think positive, positive things happen. If you think negative, negative things happen. You see the routine? So if you always keep yourself in a positive uh, mindset, positive things are going to happen. But if you let these poisons, you let these toxins, you let these people that are just trying to bring you down, man, you're letting them win. And you need to be a winner. You need to be the one that wins. 
So keep that positive mindset. Stop the negativity. I, you know, the, for so long, I was blaming others for what was happening in my life until I took responsibility of my own actions and what I was doing. Then I started seeing the results. I started seeing what truly was getting in my way and it was myself. So I needed to stay in the right lane. I needed to mind my own business and not worry about what everybody else was doing. And once I started doing that, then great things were happening. Great things started happening. When I started letting God into my life, things started happening for me, positive things. Nothing negative was happening in my life because I had the greater power that was helping me. He was showing me the direction. He doesn't give me anything that I can't handle. So all this negative stuff that went into my life, he didn't give it to me. He's thinking, Ron, you can't handle this. I want to see you fail. He gave it to me because he said to me, you have a bigger purpose. And being here at six o'clock in the morning for a training to be better in our craft, mastering our art, sharpening our ax is making us better. God gives us that reason. God wants you to do better. So when you wake up every morning, you should always have a positive attitude. Don't let negative things enter your life early in the morning. If someone else is having a bad day, you smile, you reflect, and you, you say to yourself, I am not going to be that person today. I am not going to let negativity into my life. And once you don't allow negativity into your life, things will change. Things will get better. Things will be better for you because you have a bigger purpose. So think about that today. You have a bigger purpose in life. Stop with the negativity. I thank you guys for joining me today. I love you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Check me out on all YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Amazon, Audible, Apple Podcasts. I'm on all of them. Also, check out the Manager TO Podcast on all your, your favorite platform plat podcast platforms and the Automotive Architect Sales Podcast. You can check that out. Leave a review, but give me five stars, give me four stars. Just tell me how this has impacted your life and made you better. I appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day.